Hey guys, welcome back! In this video, I will be telling you about this super drug cosmetics I bought recently and also I will be sharing my honest reviews. So you see guys, I clipped my hair back and now I'm gonna begin with the moisturizer and you know that I've been using Bioderma cream for a while and ever since it has never disappointed me. now my skin is fully moistured next step is about applying elf cosmetics illuminating face primer and i'm combining it with l'oreal paris glotion natural glow enhancer Alright guys, so to be honest, I didn't expect that the e.l.f. primer would be that glittery as you see here. And speaking of L'Oreal Paris Glotion Enhancer, some people claim that it's a dupe to Charlotte Tilbury's primer. Anyway, let's trust the process and continue. My next step is to apply L'Oreal Paris Foundation True Match. So the shade is 5R and 5C, as you see here. And when I tested it, it did look very well on my skin. But let's find out how it's gonna perform now. so it wasn't too bad with laurel foundation honestly i would mark it somewhere between seven and seven and a half out of ten and what i'm gonna do next is to apply uh infallible concealer by laurel So here is the concealer. I know that I applied a bit more than I was supposed to. Uh, so uh, anyways, as I will continue applying other makeup, it will slowly will balance and blend in. What I did really like about this concealer that as I started applying it, it smoothly blended without any problem. So yeah. Actually, I did like this concealer. What I'm gonna do next is to apply Cream Contour by Pro Revolution. And yeah, I have actually have never tried this before. Uh, I'm really, really curious what it's gonna look like. Okay, not bad. All right, now it's time to blend it. So cream contour did settle very well. And as you see, it also got blended very, very well. So what would I recommend you? You should be very careful in the future uh, when you apply the cream contour, especially for the first time. Otherwise you will end up making a mess just like me. Next step is to apply cream blush by e.l.f. And I'm going to do it right now. So the reason why I'm looking to the other side is because I've got a mirror there. Okay. So let's blend it and see how this one will do. Alright, so this is the result of the blush. I have just 
blended so i did really like this color as you see it seamlessly blended all over my cheekbone and the good thing is it's not very bright actually so guys i would highly recommend you to use it in the future all right so what i'm gonna do now is to apply bronzer by laurel paris bronze to paradise so let's begin just to give a good tan to my face That's it. Now I'm going to apply powder by e.l.f. and let's see how this Halo Glow setting powder will settle on my face. Alright guys, I'm done applying setting powder by e.l.f. What I can say for certain, I did really like how this product settled on my face here and here as well. And if you take a closer look here, it looks really, really nice. It's amazing. Now I'm going to apply bronzer just once more to fix some mess. So, it happens over time. Now I'm gonna apply a bit of powder blush by e.l.f. because you see that my blush is barely visible because it was creamy, you know, just to make it more visible. So I'm just gonna tap it very, very easily. So oh, yeah, what I'm going to do now is to apply cream highlighter by Revolution Pro and let's see how it will look. I'm going to open it. Oh. Here we go. Let's begin. to fix my brows with brow gel by again elf let's see what it's gonna look like it's already looks okay I didn't just use brow gel, but also I used brow pencil. So if you're gonna take a closer look, I drew some extra lines uh, behind my brows. This one is Panorama Mascara by L'Oreal. Everyone says that this is the best mascara that L'Oreal has got by now, but let's find out. As you see, the volume of my lashes have increased. My final step is lip liner and lip gloss by Maybelline New York. Here is my final look. I fully removed my makeup and it's time to make some conclusions. Well, first of all, not all of my makeup products have satisfied me. And of course, I mean about e.l.f. primer. Ever since I started applying it on my face, it has drawn it out entirely so badly. So when I started applying the L'Oreal foundation, it started crashing on my face. So I could say from my review that Laurel Paris uh, primer has outperformed 
e.l.f. primer. So in the future, guys, in case if you'd like to choose the primer to apply, I would highly recommend you to go for this. Well, what about the other makeup products? I don't have any complaints at all. We all know that the quality of the drugstore makeup isn't actually bad these days. And of course, that doesn't mean we must not test them before purchasing. All right, guys, it was a quick video about the makeup I purchased, and I hope you did really enjoy watching it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel, drop some thumbs, and I'm hoping to see you once again in my future videos. Take care and bye-bye!